Let's do another example of lattice diagrams. This time we've got this thing without replacement in it. Okay, so we've got two letters are chosen from the word kick without replacement. I suppose a good way of imagining this question is if you've got pieces um, uh, or tiles from Scrabble. So we've got a K, an I, a C, and a K. Okay, and these are sitting in a bag or something like that wherever. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is construct a table to list the sample space. So the same as last time, we draw a horizontal and a vertical line. This time I'll, I'll represent selection one here, so this represents the first choice. So I'll mark that down as choice one and choice two. Okay, so choice one will be either a K, an I, a C or a K. Choice two will be a K, an I, a C or a K. Now, let's have a look. Two letters are chosen from the word kick without replacement. So my first choice here is a K, followed by a K. Uh, and it's the same K that we're talking about. Okay, It's not this K over here, the second one or the second tile here. I'm saying I've chosen this one here. Can I choose the same one again? And actually, I can't because it's saying here this is without replacement. So in fact, this possibility is not going to happen. Okay, I can't choose the first tile that's a K and then choose it again because I haven't replaced it. However, I can cho choose a K followed by this one here, an I. So that is a possibility. That's K then an I. We can also have a K then a C. That's K has been selected and then a C. And we can have this one here, a K and then a K. That is a possibility because I've selected this tile, which is this one, and I've selected this tile, which is this one. Okay, so selected that and then that. That is that possibility there. Okay, I've selected an I first and then a K. Now I've selected an I and an I. Again, this can't be done. I can't select that and then select it again because it hasn't been replaced. So this one here is also not going to happen. We can have an I and a, K, a C rather, and we can have an I and a K also. Okay, we can have a C and a K. We can have a C and an I. We can't have the C followed by C. That won't happen. And you can see something happening here already in the, the diagram. We can have a C and then the second K. All right, the final one, okay, is the last K followed by the selection of the first K. This can happen. Okay, we also can have the K and then the I. We can have the K and the C. What we can't have though is the last K being selected followed by the last K because we haven't replaced that letter. So this won't happen. Alright, so all of these are possibilities except the double. Okay, We can't do the double, we can't choose the first K and then the first K because it's been done without replacement. Okay, let's answer some questions based on this table. So the first question they want us to answer is the probability of obtaining the outcome KC. So this is the probability of a K followed by a C. Let's have a look through. There's one, a K followed by a C. All right, let's see if we can find that happening again. There's the second one. So we've had one here, and one here. Okay, so we've got two potential um, two potential choices or um, things in the sample space where that can happen. That's two out of. Now the total probability of this are just the total number in the sample space. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is a two in twelve chance or a one in six chance of choosing a K followed by a C. Okay, Remember this doesn't tell you what K was selected and, and then they're basically saying it doesn't matter. 
okay? As long as a K was selected first, it could have been the first K, it could, uh, this one here, it could have been the first one or the last one. I'm not worried about it as long as a K followed by a C. So we've got a one in six chance of that happening. All right, uh, the probability of selecting two Ks, that's the probability of a K followed by a K. All right, so we've got one chance of this happening here and on the reverse side, we've got one chance of this happening here, okay? So once again, we've got a 2 in 12 chance of that happening or a 1 in 6 chance. All right, the final question that we're um, uh, working on is selecting a K and a C. That's the probability of a K and a C. All right, so what we've got here is a K then a C. What we've got here is a K then a C. So that can include any order as long as it has a K and a C. So there's one there, K and a C. There's one there. We've already looked at them for these. this one here. But we also can include this one now. That's a C and a K. Okay, that, that's, that's a definite possibility because they want a K and a C. Okay, or a C and a K. And we can include this one as well, okay, because that's a C and a K. All right, so there are our potential chances. It's, um, we've got four potential um, choices there uh, that we can um, get. That's a four out of 12 or a one in four chance of uh, selecting a K and a C.